Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today. It is actually very, very exciting to see some of you who are here in person, not too many, and we're all at a safe social distance, of course, and welcome, a hearty welcome to all of you who are joining us online. At the University of Louisville, we provide transformative opportunities for our students, opportunities that will strengthen their ability to achieve well-being and prosperity. We also understand that today there's a great need for talented cybersecurity professionals in all fields, but especially in healthcare, to protect the information that patients, providers, and payers rely on to deliver high quality care. Today, it's my very great pleasure to announce that the University of Louisville, through the Center for Digital Transformation, has received a $6.3 million grant from the National Security Agency to develop and launch an online cybersecurity certificate curriculum that's focused on healthcare. The Healthcare Cybersecurity Workforce Certificate will deliver future-focused skills to increase students' career marketability in healthcare and actually transferable to many other fields as well. And this will enable them to receive this instruction wherever they are through a time-efficient and cost-effective program. This certificate program will allow students the opportunity to gain the credentials and the expertise they need in three levels that are aligned with national standards. And they'll be able to get numerous industry badges in a very short six month period. This training will enhance not only our students' job marketability, but it'll also allow them to learn expertise, to gain expertise in high tech uh, areas such as robotics, artificial intelligence, and many other fields. And added, and most welcome aspect of this program is that during the pilot phase, 200 military veterans and first responders will receive this training at no charge at all. Our Office of Military and Veteran Student Services is dedicated to championing the needs of veterans and currently serving students and to helping them succeed at the University of Louisville. Many of you may know, we have been designated a military-friendly schools for 10 consecutive years. And approximately 5.5% of our student body consists of military-connected students. And that, by the way, is more than the enrollment all, at all the remaining ACC schools combined. This new program, will provide an exceptional opportunity for veterans and first responders, people who serve us, to add valuable skill sets that will re lead to incredible career opportunities for them. In addition to the curriculum, I'm delighted to say that our engineering researchers will apply their exceptional skills to developing a new method of security authentication. You will hear more about that in a moment. We are an R1 university, one of the premier research universities, and we are delighted to be able to help industry, government, all citizens through the expertise of our engineering researchers. We have set three grand challenges for the university to address. Empowering our communities, advancing our health, and engineering the future of work. This project contributes to all of those three areas. By making career en enhancement skills so readily available to students, we are empowering our communities. By enhancing the ability to protect our healthcare information, we are advancing health. And by creating new innovative training modalities in technology, and conducting research to develop a new biological authentication method, we are engineering a better future. Ultimately, we are excited 
to offer this program to all students so that they can enhance their career opportunities with technology credentials in just a short six month time frame. I would like to thank a number of people for making this possible. First, I would like to thank U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell for his leadership in making this funding possible. I would also like to thank U.S. Representative John Yarmuth for his support for the proposal. This bipartisan support demonstrates the understanding of the needs of our community, our students, and our healthcare business. And of course, this program would not have happened without the dedication, professionalism, and just sheer perseverance of this program's PI, the principal investigator, Dr. Sharon Carrick. And typical of Sharon, she pulled together an extensive transdisciplinary group of collaborators from all across the University of Louisville. I'd also like to say a most sincere thank you for our external collaborators. My friend, Tammy York Day of the Louisville Healthcare CEO Council, retired Army Brigadier General Jim Iacocca of the Knox um, Regional Development Alliance. Jim, thank you so much, as well as Charter Health. Now, please welcome our Executive Vice President for Research and Innovation, Kevin Gardner, who will tell you more about this project. Thank you, Neely. It's a pleasure to be here and to help announce this, this major new award that will train military veterans and first responders. Cybersecurity, I'm sure everybody can understand, is critical to the economy today as as things become more digital and online and connected, and that, that's for the factory floor, it's for the healthcare uh, uh, industry, and it's for people on their smartphones. Cybersecurity cuts across all sectors of the economy. And I want to make one point here this morning, and that is that University of Louisville received this training award because of excellence in research. It's excellence in research that makes U of L a preeminent institution in the cybersecurity field and enables us to be competitive on the national stage for major grants like this. Research means creating new knowledge. Creating new knowledge so that, and you can appreciate how important that is in the, in the field of cybersecurity. Yesterday's knowledge in cybersecurity doesn't do you a heck of a lot of good. It's new knowledge that's important. UofL doesn't just create knowledge and put it on a shelf in the back room. UofL creates knowledge and gets it out into the, into the world. And today you can go onto UofL's Flintbox site and see that we have technologies in the cybersecurity field available for licensing by companies. And UofL also has a spin out company um, uh, related to cybersecurity as well. So I want to make this one point it's preeminence in the research around cybersecurity that enabled this training grant um, in, the, in the first responders, in the military veterans will receive training in the, of the most current type of training with the new knowledge today, the future knowledge, as President Ben, ben Dipudi said, and not uh, yesterday's knowledge. It was preeminence in research that led U of L to be named a National Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense, and it was that that enabled us to, to win this award. I would like to um, introduce, as President Ben Dipudi said, Dr. Sharon Carrick, who is the principal investigator of this award and the director of our Center for Digital Transformations. It's a great time to be at University of Louisville, and this award actually is going to create a national uh, profile of um, training and support for cybersecurity. Um, but it takes a team, as we all know, and uh, these are my colleagues. I would like to introduce to you um, Dr. Wright with the College of University of Louisville College of Business has been uh, involved with the Cybersecurity Center here since it initially started many, many, many years ago. So I knew this was the right person we bring in to, to lead things for us and with us. Um, and then also Dr. Adel Almagrabi from our SPEED 
engineering school who is world renowned and has the depth and breadth and knowledge and connections all over the world um, from a research perspective. And along with that, we have built a collaborative team across the country for our coalition. And these include the University of Arkansas Little Rock um, and the University of North Florida, the Kentucky Community Technical College System, and then City University of Seattle, and then Alcorn State University, which will be a major component of our research. Um, and they happen to be a historical black college who have partnered with us um, predominantly on the research side of the house. Um, this is gonna be very innovative. It's very exciting for us from an entrepreneurial standpoint. Again, to develop, develop something that's national and global with our partners, and we know that they have the depth and breadth of expertise that each of those partners will bring to the, the uh, um, group, as well as we will be hiring people. So I'm just saying that out there because we will need a lot of help from different uh, aspects um, and proud to have that uh, resource to be able to hire some folks too. Um, this innovative curriculum, as you heard, is based on, not only on the healthcare data that we'll be using with hands-on lab, anonymous data, so that we can uh, penetrate and look at different elements within the healthcare system. And again, it's not just for healthcare people, it's for anybody. It doesn't matter what industry that you're in, this will just be a focus on the examples in the labs that will help us to penetrate and support healthcare uh, initiatives and, and situations. Uh, the technology industry credential badges, we have an IBM partnership, we have a Google partnership, we have a Microsoft partnership. Uh, we'll embed those trophy badges and certificates throughout those six months. And as Dr. Benaputi uh, mentioned, then people come out at the other end of six months that maybe cybersecurity wasn't totally for them, and, but now they've got all these other certificates and badges that will enable and arm them as a workforce. Um, and it's a cohort base, meaning it's a group of students that will go through, and we're gonna do a laddering sequence whereby one class starts and a group goes through, and then the next class starts, and that's gonna help us build the mentoring and the dimensionality of supporting all different people and them to support each other. Um, along with that, it's also competency-based, whereby we will have net deliverable of skills that we will assess, remediate, and help people go through the program. And if they need to go through the program again, we'll do the attend again free. We'll put them right back through within a time period so that they can uh, get the competencies they needed. And another piece that we're very excited about is the gamification piece, because we know that that's where our world is today. And um, so we actually have some gamification expertise across our coalition with our other schools that we're able to actually support that as well. We also have dedicated coaches and mentors from each of the communities, and again, not just our region, but we're fortunate to have all these other coalition partners across the U.S. that we'll be supporting, and they will be actually spinning up these pro this program in their universities um, after we finish the pilot. Um, and so we're just honored uh, to have this RFP and again, to support the pilot project. Um, we will have also added on behalf of the University of Louisville, as well as the other schools, some diversity and equity and inclusion scholarships. And we decided that we would also um, formulate a train the trainer, whereby our local historical black colleges, uh, Simmons College and Kentucky State University, we will actually save seats in the class where we will train them so that they can be enabled and armed to bring it to their universities as well. So I know I speak on behalf of my very strong support team and this universe of a coalition team, and we're grateful for the support, and we will be including many different organizations, like it's too many to, to list, and scientists across the country, and specifically with Speed School and the College of Business, and we're grateful for the support, and thanks for including us today and we're just we're anxious to give an update and i'm really proud now to introduce one of our major supporters encouragers um, helpful person go-to person uh, we're known as a healthcare town here um, tammy york day she is the president and ceo of the louisville healthcare ceo council um, and if you don't know, this is comprised of our top leaders and CEOs from major corporations, Kindred, Humana, and so on and so forth right here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So thank you and we're honored.
Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Carrick and, and Dr. Gardner, Dr. Bendapudi. You know, I noticed they have me following three PhDs, um, and and we are so thrilled on behalf of the Louisville Healthcare CEO Council Board of Directors and our chair Benjamin Breyer, uh, who is CEO of, of Kindred. I just want to say how pleased we are to be a part of this initiative that is so exciting and, and fits perfectly in line with our mission at the council. Um, LHCC and U of L have many collaborative efforts that are designed to support and broaden and create a strong tech talent pipeline um, to, to really strengthen and deepen the connections um, with our communities, with our corporate um, and academia, and invest in Louisville's success together. Uh, the city of Louisville is home to the largest cluster of aging innovation companies uh, in healthcare across the entire continuum of care in the nation. And some background on us, you know, the, the council is comprised of the CEOs of 12 of those large healthcare companies. We touch uh, 80 million lives annually, 400,000 employees collectively across the nation, and $100 billion in annual revenue. And one of the things that we're so excited about is we know the success that we want to accomplish when we're attracting the top talent, when we are uh, providing these national solutions that we desperately need in healthcare in that constantly changing world, and that we've seen so clearly in the acute case with this pandemic, um, we have to have that connection to a top tier research university, and we're so proud of the University of Louisville and that connection here. And we bring the advantage of the collective resources that extend beyond any one individual healthcare company. So we were really, you know, created to be able to leverage that strength as a whole. Um, we know as a council that there's a shortage of cybersecurity and data proficient talent, and it's a real pressing challenge. You know, as we prepare for the future and delivering healthcare in that different way, uh, and healthcare benefits to a, a rapidly increasing adult um, population, it strains our existing infrastructure. One in five people will be over the age of 65 in the next 10 years. I mean, really to process that. And so we're so excited to support this effort uh, through the collaboration of, of a diverse set of professionals that are experienced in the healthcare sector that's represented by our member companies. And we're especially interested in building the skills that are desired by our member companies so that they have jobs um, that we provide the, the not only local but national talent, that the talent comes out of our university to fill these, these needs um, of these national companies. So we're committed to supporting UofL's efforts to arm the next generation of cybersecurity professionals with the skills that they need and and, you know, make the healthcare data infrastructure a tool, not a barrier, to better health outcomes through empowering patients to be active participants in their health. So just so thrilled to be a part of it um, and, and honored to be here today to be a part of this exciting announcement. So thank you.